missing children with ties to the valley and their mom who's accused of having ties to a cult. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kadiva Devine. And I'm Mark Curtis. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, there are new clues about Lori Vallow Daybell, who remains behind bars in Idaho, and what led up to her kids vanishing without a trace. Now, here's where it gets confusing. There are new details about Tammy Daybell, the former wife of Chad Daybell, who is Lori's new husband. EastIdahoNews.com reports that the Idaho Attorney General has now taken over the investigation into Tammy Daybell's mysterious death. It's now being classified as a possible murder and conspiracy. This comes as we get new video from Gilbert Police revealing that Lori Vallow Daybell's estranged husband tried to have her mentally evaluated before he was killed. Team 12's Erica Stapleton joins us with the latest details in this ever-changing and twisted case. Erica. The footage, taken more than a year ago, shows Lori Vallow going to Gilbert Police to file a report against her then-husband, Charles Vallow, who at the time was pushing to have Lori's mental health evaluated. This all started as a domestic issue, but a witness reveals that something darker could have been at play. January 31st, 2019. Told him not to come home and that his stuff would be gone and that his car would be gone and all this. Thing. Lori Vallow, daughter Tylee Ryan, and a family friend are sitting with Gilbert police officers. But I just left with the kids because I didn't want them in all the drama. Lori, reporting her then-husband, Charles Vallow, stole her purse and phone and was reaching out to her family and friends, saying she was crazy. She says she took JJ and Tylee to a hotel so they wouldn't have to see him. She's acting like that my son was in danger. I was worried about JJ. Okay. This all comes as Charles brings a petition to police in order to have Lori mentally evaluated. Police have to verify this before taking any action and speak to one of Charles's friends, a witness. His wife, she had been getting into some religious things that troubled him. The relationship was a bit odd. According to this video, Charles's friend listened in on a call between Charles and Lori. She did use the word destroy. Uh, she said, I will destroy you. It didn't necessarily come across as as a direct threat to him or the children or herself. The friend, at this point, voicing concern for the children. Hopefully this will resolve itself in the best way possible for those poor kids. Haunting words as six months after all of this, Charles would be killed, shot by Lori's brother Alex Cox, according to Chandler Police. Two months after that, the kids disappear. Lori hasn't said a word as to what's happened to them or where they could be. A stark difference yeah, well, she got her GEDs. to the Lori sitting at the Gilbert Police Department talking about Tylee's future. You really want to be a police officer? Maybe. You never know. Even joking about that mental health evaluation. Um, in a gym where I could work out? Yeah. You are going to get a padded room. <laughs> Gilbert police tell us Lori Vallow voluntarily fulfilled that mental health evaluation order. Court records show that details from her relationship with Charles Vallow and the investigation into a suspicious death will be used as evidence in the case of the missing kids. Lori is expected back in court next week for another bond hearing.